Hey, welcome to part two of Geometry Dash. If you're watching this video, hopefully you've already done part one, so seeing this cupcake and square and triangle doesn't confuse you. And we're starting off from there, so if you haven't watched part one, then check it out in the Create tab of Hopscotch. Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a point system count how far you're going. So the further you survive, the bigger the number you're gonna get. Go to the gray plus button to add a new object. Drag out a text object. Let's call it score. Now add a new rule. Okay, let me play. So in this rule, go to more if you don't have every when. And then we're going to pick equals, which is down here. What we want to happen is that when the square has not exploded, we're going to increase the number of points. So go to values and find the squares values by tapping on this gray arrow until you see square. Then pick invisibility as a percent, and then on this side, pick zero. And this means when the square is zero percent invisible, i.e. when you see it, then this is gonna happen. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to values, which is yellow, pick increase value, and then let's add a new value and let's call it um, point. Tap on point and increase value of the points by one. Great, so then press check and let's add a new rule. So exit out of this rule and add a new rule for score and say when the play button is tapped. Now let's repeat forever. So go down to the blue control flow tab and drag out a repeat forever block and then go up to looks and sounds. And what we want is to show the score all the time. So drag out set text, put it inside the repeat forever loop, then go to values and find the value point, which you just created, which is under the square. So pick point, and now we'll always see how many points we have. And those points will always increase until the square explodes. So check it out. Cool, we're getting up to the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But what if we don't jump? Then it stops, and that's your high score so far. So those are the basics. Now check out projects in the community to see ways to make cooler backgrounds and new obstacles. Then make additions of your own. Can't wait to see what you make. Have fun!